and bold. You see him coming. They say he's something else. Yeah, he's something. New videos. What you gonna do? You gonna like, share, comment, and subscribe too. Man of gold, y'all. Man of gold, y'all. Man of gold, y'all. Come and have a ball. Man of gold, y'all. Man of gold, y'all. Come and settle down with the man of gold and have a ball. What's up, Golden Fam? It's your boy, Man of Gold. I'm back with another video on today. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Golden Family. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell. I mean, click that bell. I mean, click that bell, baby. So that way you won't miss any more content that I have that's on the way coming. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, y'all, so y'all can tell by the title of this video, yes, I am going to be giving a story time about my very first fight. So, usually I don't like drama, I don't like confrontations and stuff like that. So, for this story time, grab your snack, get comfortable, lay on back, and we'll get into the story time. Okay, so, this day dates back to the year of 2008. I was still in middle school then. I was only in the eighth grade. At that time, I was probably between 14, 15 years old at the time. And I really didn't know too much about fighting or standing up for myself because at that time, I was too much of a people pleaser I really didn't know how to stand up for myself at the time. I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to fend for myself at the time. So it was one day in second period. It was a, it was science class. I still remember. I don't know if I said something first or the dude said something first, but it was, it was one of us. It was one of us who said something. So he said something smart. I said something smart. Then all of a sudden, he started getting real mad, talking about he was going to beat my butt. So we had a substitute teacher that day. And the substitute teacher, I don't know what happened to her. I don't know where she's at. I don't forgot her name. Um, I'm going to call the teacher Miss Sunshine because she was a very nice substitute teacher. And... The dude that fought me, we're going to call him, we're going to call him Bucky. Okay, so me and Bucky started getting in an argument in class. He started talking about he was going to beat my rump, going to do this, going to do that. Miss Sunshine had to move me to the front of the classroom at the desk where she was sitting at. And they was about to get Bucky out of the room. So... Bucky was about to leave the classroom and the teacher had me sitting at her desk in the front. So I was sitting down at the desk. I was just doing my work. I wasn't looking behind me. And then it's like all of a sudden, it's like Bucky just came running up behind me and he actually snooked me out from behind. I didn't see him coming behind me. So I didn't even get a chance to even stand up or even defend myself or hit the dude back. Like he just he just ran up behind me, started doing mm, 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 mm. started doing that. And tell you the truth, his punches really wasn't that hard. Like his punches really had no effect. I mean, it had a little bit of a sting to it on my head, but his punches really didn't hurt. And plus he was punching kind of slow. I had an opportunity to like defend myself and hit him back, but he was already on top of me. I'm like, go ahead and get it out of the way and get it over with so I can get up out of here. So he had my head going like boom, 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 boom. So he had me throwing my head up and down. So it's like my head didn't hurt that much. His punches really ain't had no effect. So he was growling and screaming. They trying to pull him off of me and he was looking at me. With some evil look in his eyes. Thinking that he actually did something. Dude. You snuck me from behind. You really didn't. That really wasn't even a fair fight. Because how is it that you're going to run up behind somebody. And do a punk move like that. 
while while a nigga still sitting down. How you gonna do that? So at that time, I didn't know too much about standing up for myself. Now, the older than I am now, now I stand up for myself. Sure, I don't have to fight you or anything like that, but I can put you in your place without getting to that without getting to that extent. So they got me and Bucky out of the classroom. I went to the nurse's office to see if anything was bruised up or nothing like that. Nothing was bruised up. Thank God I decided not to cut my hair for that day. <laughs> Cause I was I was gonna get me a haircut. I was gonna cut my hair. But thank God I didn't cut my hair. So thank God, you know, he really ain't did nothing to my head. So they put me in OSS for the rest of that day. I had to go home for the rest of the day. So for anybody who doesn't know what OSS means, that means out school suspension. I mean, you might as well say that y'all just suspend me or overnight suspension. Could be said that. So the dude who fought me, I think he was suspended for a few weeks. He was suspended for a few weeks because of that. With me, I was good. I only had overnight suspension. He was suspended for a few weeks. So I was good. And then he came back after a few weeks. And he kind of gave me a look like. And I'm looking at him like. So we sat at a desk together anyway. So it's like, you know, we sat down. And then after that, he went ahead and apologized for everything that he did. So that fight that I got in, every everybody in school was everybody in the eighth grade on my team was talking about it. Everybody was saying, "Oh, oh, you got you got your you got your butt beat by Bucky. I can't believe you got your butt beat and this and that." I'm like, "Hey, call it what you want it. Sometimes you win." Sometimes you lose. That day, he just happened to sneak me while I was sitting down. That was the only reason why he won. So, I talked to one of my cousins about it. He said that wasn't even a fair fight because what Bucky did to you, that was a punk move that he did because he actually snuck you while you were sitting down. Everybody was saying I got my butt beat. Yeah, I guess you can say nine times out of ten, yeah, I kind of got my rump handed to me. So at that time I didn't know too I didn't I didn't know too much about standing up for myself. I didn't know how to stand up for myself. I didn't know how to fight back when people was provoking me and backing me up in the corner. I didn't know how to do that. You know, my mom was teaching me and I still believe in this teaching today, which is why I'm not fighting nobody today. It's like I try not to fight nobody cuz it's like my mom always said this. If if somebody hits you, don't retaliate to their level. You just walk away. Let the Lord fight your battles for the battle is not yours. If you try fighting this battle, you're going to end up getting in trouble too. That's what my mama told me. So I'm trying to do what my mama said, but my family was telling me, Ty, next time that someone fights you or they put their hands on you, you better hit their behind back. That's what my family was telling me. Of course, my family ain't saved. So my mama was the only saved one in the family at the time. So she was just trying to tell me the right thing. You know, telling me, you know, don't retaliate to their level. Two wrongs don't make a right. And I believe in that. I believe in, you know, trying not to fight and look for trouble. Now, if you provoke me to where I have to defend myself, then... I'm going to do that and I'm going to repent to God and ask him for forgiveness later. Because now I'm learning just because I love God, just because God changed my life now and I love God, that does not mean that I have to be bullied or I have to take anybody else's bull crap. That don't mean that I have to do that. So, anyhow, after the fight, I went back to school and everything. And then I got a letter in the mail from DJJ. I never went to DJJ. So 
they, they sent me a letter in the mail talking about if I ever got in another fight or something like that, then they was going to have to see me or they was going to put me in DJJ. I never been to DJJ before. I'm not a bad person. I'm a kind of person, I don't like getting in trouble. Like, I hate drama. I hate, you know, all this other bull crap that's going around, you know, confrontations. I don't like that. I keep myself out of the equation. With me, I'm like a good person. When I was when I was younger, I was like I was like a goody two shoes. I hated breaking the rules. Like when it when it came to going to school, I used to love going to school. Like I hated breaking the rules. I was you know I'm never late, never missed a day of school unless if I was sick. You know I never skipped school. I try to obey the rules. You know, I was just one of those kids. You know I try to be I try to be the good kid. You know. <clears throat> My grades wasn't always good, but, you know, hey, that's another story. But anyway, you know, after that fight happened, me and the dude, you know, we apologized. We said I'm our, I'm sorry and whatnot. But then after that, I was still kind of mad to the point where I said I wanted my round two. So I was saying, <coughs> excuse me. I was saying the next time I see the dude, it was gonna be round two. And I said, Lord, the next time I see next time I see Bucky, I'm a, I'm gonna beat his rump. It's gonna be a round two. So the next time I saw him was when we got into high school. And this was about later in 2008, somewhere in 2009, when I started my freshman year in high school, and that was when I saw Bucky again. So I was gonna run up on Bucky. I was going to run up on him, but then the spirit told me, no, don't you run up on him. Whatever done happened, it's in the past. You done fought him. You got in trouble one time. Ain't no telling what, what's going to happen if you fight in high school. They might try to try you as an adult. They might lock you up overnight. And that's what my school was doing anytime you got in a fight. They'll lock you up in jail overnight. Or they'll lock you up for a certain amount of time and then someone has to come and pick you up. I ain't got that type of money and we ain't had no transportation back then for nobody to be coming to get me out of jail. So the spirit told me to just leave it alone. God told me to let it go. It done happened. The fight happened. It's in the past. You took that L. You lost it. You took that L. Now take it as a man. Move on. So that's what I did. After a while, you know, we got cool and everything. I don't know what he's doing today. And that's pretty much the story time of how I got in my first fight. And pretty much that's the only fight, only real fight that I've ever been in. I never been in another fight like that before. It's like, I really don't fight nobody because it's like, I'm always nice to everybody. I try to get along with everybody. I don't like confrontation. I don't like drama. I don't like none of that. I try to get along with everybody. So, the moral of the thing is, two wrongs don't make a right. If someone tries to start over with you, just walk away. Do what you got to do. Defuse the situation. But if someone try to provoke you, try to back you up in the corner, you got to defend yourself. Defend yourself. Do what you can to lay that person down. Okay. But that's the end of the story time right here. I really do hope that y'all enjoyed that story time. It's going to be more story times where that came from. I'm about to go ahead and end this video right here. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. <coughs> Excuse me. You share and subscribe. And don't forget to click that post notification bell. So that way you won't miss any more content. Any more story times that I have that is on the way. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I'll see you all in the next video. All right? Peace.